Hello YouTube, Andrew Portes here, um, recording a video uh, now, <laughs> even though it's been a very, very long time. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I have more content planned for the future, as I've promised before. Although, since I'm recording a video now, I uh, guess I've uh, kept my promise. <laughs> so, anyway, video I wanted to do today uh, was about Skype 6.0 that was released yesterday. Um, one of the big new features is the fact that you can link your Skype account and Microsoft account uh, together. And since quite a while ago, Microsoft bought Skype, um, it's sort of... Uh, makes sense that this feature is finally here. Um, so, first of all though, you may be thinking, what is a Microsoft account? Well, it used to be called a Windows Live account. Uh, let's put it that way. And if you use Hotmail, or uh, you've used Windows Live Messenger in the past, or MSN Messenger as it used to be known, or you use Xbox Live, you know, chances are if you use any Microsoft Surface, um, you've used like the same account details, you know, the same email and password for it all anyway. So all your Microsoft stuff is linked together. Uh, and now, like I say, you can link it with Skype. So all your friends from Messenger will appear uh, alongside your Skype friends. Um, now, if like me though, you get your Skype to automatically sign you in when you start it. Uh, I found that it's not really obvious how to do this linkage. Uh, so I wanted to make a quick video on how exactly you do it. Um, if you're on a Mac, the first thing you're going to want to do um, is check that you have uh, version 6.4, uh, 6.0, sorry, uh, downloaded uh, and installed. And so you just go uh, into, uh, I'll do it again, Skype, uh, the Skype menu. Uh, and then check for updates. It checks for updates very quickly, hence why I did it twice. Um, and uh, it says here that I've already got it, so I don't need to worry. But for you, it'll say, oh, 6.0 is available. Um, and then it will download and install fairly automatically, and then uh, sign you into Skype again if you have it set to automatically sign you in. Um, and then because of that though, like I say, with the automatic sign-in, it's not really obvious how to link your Skype and Microsoft accounts together. You actually have to sign out, which on a Mac, um, you have to go file and sign out to be brought up to the, uh, the, you know, the login screen that I'm sure you've seen before. Normally you would type your um, Skype name and uh, password for Skype in there and it will sign you in. If you want to link an account, uh, at least for the first time that you're doing it, you're going to want to click on the button for what kind of account you want to link with your Skype. As you see, the new button is the Microsoft account, but you can also, if you didn't know, link your Facebook account with it. So you'll see all your Facebook friends um, in your Skype contact list, and whenever any of your friends are on Facebook, you can actually chat to them and even video chat to them um, directly from Skype even if they're on the Facebook website. But again, um, I want to show you how to link your Microsoft account. Um, so you'll click that, you'll type in your Microsoft account information, uh, so email address and password. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then for me, because I've already actually linked my Microsoft and Skype account together, it's actually just going to immediately sign me into Skype. Uh, whereas for you, it is going to say, um, oh, uh, do you have a Skype account? And then you'll go, yes, if you do. And obviously, no, if you don't. So you can finish creating one with those details. But again, if you go, yes, um, you'll then be asked to type in your Skype information and then um, once you've done that, there'll be one final confirmation screen. Then it will sign you into Skype using your Microsoft account, but you'll actually be signed into the same Skype account that you've always had. And you will see in the contacts list um, that when you just make the window a little larger, uh, you've got all contacts. Messenger contacts are your Microsoft contact ones. 
anybody that's online on all of the services you've linked together, that includes Facebook. Then you have Skype accounts only, uh, then just Facebook friends, or if you're on a Mac, you can actually see, you know, contacts that are just on your Mac. Um, but uh, again, you may be asking, well, what if you're on Windows? Well, here is the Windows version of Skype. Uh, and again, um, to check for updates is slightly different. Uh, you'll go to the Help menu and then check for updates. And right here it says that I've already got 6.0 because I, you know, I've done this as well. Uh, but for you, it'll be like there's a new version available. As I said, you download and install it. It will sign you back into Skype if you've set it up to do, do that. Uh, so again, you'll need to sign out which on Windows you do in the Skype menu, uh, all these subtle differences. Uh, and then you'll be brought back to the, the login screen, uh, which actually does look pretty similar to the Mac version. Uh, again, you'll click on what account you want to link. And by the way, I should say that um, linking your Facebook account, as I'll do this time, is pretty much the same process. You know, you'll type in your Facebook info, um, and then, you know, you'll say, keep me signed in so that it will keep it linked. Uh, and then it will sign you in with your, your Skype account, uh, if you have already linked it. Uh, but if you haven't, then again, it will tell you, um, after putting in your Facebook information, do you have a Skype account? Mm -hmm. Then you'll put in your Skype info and then all your Facebook friends, uh, along with everyone else will be in, uh, your contacts. Uh, so you can see here um, on your contacts list there's a little filter uh, where you could say uh, I want to see all my contacts, I want to see my Skype contacts, I want to see people online, and I, you know I, I want to see the Facebook ones. Uh, the messenger ones seem to be missing actually. I think I've just found a bug uh, with this version. Uh, let me let me just try something here. It's probably good that this is on the video to be honest. Um, I'm probably not going to re-record it. Seems that messenger people are missing. So let's sign out. Uh, and even though honestly I have linked my Microsoft account with my Skype one. Um, wow. You can never expect things to go well, can you? <laughs> I wanted this to be one take. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> quite comical. We'll sign in. Uh, so, <laughs> okie dokie. Let's have a look at the, uh, the contacts list now. Oh, it's got Facebook there. Messenger! There you go. So now you can see your, your messenger contacts in there as well. But obviously I like to set it as all so that I can see everybody. And then you can see who's online at all times. And then chat to everybody all within one program. You may be wondering, I guess, uh, why would you want to do this? Well, I think it's more of a big deal for Mac users. Um, because uh, <laughs> when it comes to MSN Messenger, the Mac has had a really rub rubbish version that Microsoft made. Um, and I believe it was included with the Office version um, for Mac, you know, Microsoft Office for Mac. And uh, there, it never really was updated often, I don't think. I mean, I didn't have a Mac at that point, so I, I, I don't know. Um, and, um, you know, it just never was really good, uh, really any good. So the fact that you can now, as of yesterday, uh, recording this video, um, uh, you know, link Microsoft and Skype together is, is, is really, really awesome because now literally all your friends from, you know, Messenger, uh, you know, Microsoft Messenger, uh, you know, Skype and Facebook all in one place, really, really funky. And uh, it doesn't matter what your friend prefers to use out of those three things to chat to you, you know, you'll see them, they'll see you. And uh, it's, it's, it's as simple as that, really. Um, like I say though, it just wasn't obvious straight away if you have your Skype automatically signing in. 
hence why I wanted to make a, a, a video. I will be doing videos in the future very soon and I honestly mean that because I am getting uh, the uh, the full release of uh, Windows 8. I mean here it is. I'm running the release preview uh, right now and here's the very scary start screen and uh, I'm running it in VMware Fusion at the moment in full screen that's why it's probably a little sluggish. Uh, what's going to be interesting is on um, Windows 8 there is a messaging app that does link with uh, you know uh, Windows Live Messenger, formula, formerly uh, MSM Messenger, and Facebook. Um, but obviously now that Skype is in the mix and and Skype links with those things, it would be nice if uh, if this messaging app on on the right hand side here would link with Skype um, because uh, then, as you can see here, you can have you know your 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 messaging on the right hand side of the screen, and you could be doing something else on the left uh, with Windows 8, uh, like browsing the web. Um, again, apologies for it being very sluggish. Uh, it's actually booting my boot camp partition um, on a Mac um, that has the Windows 8 preview on. It's booting it as if it was a virtual machine because I'm uh, using VMware Fusion 5. But anyway. Uh, because of that, I'll, I'll be able to bring you a lot more coverage of Windows 8. Um, that's what I plan to do. Uh, I want to cover kind of what's changed because obviously there are some pretty um, big changes. This is what replaces the start menu, for example. But again, that's a whole other video that I will get into at a later date. Right now, though, like I say, I just wanted to show you how to link your Microsoft and Skype accounts together with the new 6.0. Uh, and so since I've done that, um, I will catch you people next time. Uh, I hope the video was useful for you. Please feel free to leave any comments below. And um, yeah, until next time, this has been Andrew Portes. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.